The Pharrell Lego movie. Pharrell has a biopic coming out about his life and it is Lego. It looks pretty good. It looks like a fun time. And some people always have to come and try and ruin the fun. Some people are saying, what the heck? Why is it even in Lego? It is a question uh, you can ask for sure. Off the bat, it doesn't seem like there's this big correlation between Pharrell and Lego, the brick building brand. But also I think in Hollywood, in films in general, we should be encouraging creativity. So if Pharrell wants to make a movie about his life and tell it with Legos, that's uh, that's sick, dude, that's awesome. Anytime a filmmaker wants to try something different, wants to do something unconventional, I think that should be celebrated. It shouldn't be attacked and questioned. Obviously, you can make certain arguments about certain things being unnecessary. Sure, you could do that, but also if the guy wants to do it, if everyone is on board and the animators are getting paid fair wages, they're not working, you know, no hundred hour weeks. That's, that's cool. That's, I have no problem with that. I actually really enjoy it. I like it a lot. From what I've heard too, there are different interviews with different artists and friends and people like that, that Pharrell has worked with. Kendrick Lamar, Snoop Dogg, guys like that, who do actual interviews. Hi, I'm Kendrick Lamar. I'm here to talk about Pharrell Williams, my good old buddy and collaborator. And then from there, they made the Kendrick Lamar, you know, interview into Lego. He might not even know it's in Lego form. And first of all, hilarious, that's funny. I mean, why does any medium do anything ever? You could say, oh, why does Coraline have to be stop motion? Why does Kubo and the Strings have to be stop motion? It's so much easier to do this. It looks so much better if, you know, this happened. No, dude, that's stupid. That's how we get the same films made over and over again. And in a world where people are complaining all the time for a lack of new feeling movies, why are people mad about this? Why do people complain about this? This should be something that's seen more and more often. This should be done as much as possible. If a horror director wants to make a film in Lego, hear me out, I'll try it. I'll try it out, dude. There's always the chance that, you know, something could be hurt by a different medium, but then there's always a chance it goes crazy as hell. And it's not like Pharrell was just like, let's just do this because I'm bored and you know, I'm not like the other girls. No, there are advantages to the Lego form the same way there are advantages to any other medium of animation or stop motion or even live action. Animation, a medium that lets you be a lot more vibrant and creative and expressive through more abstract ideas, physicalized. Is physicalized the word? Materialized, I think is what I was trying to say. If you wanna do Pharrell riding a rainbow down onto the moon to play happy with the minions, you can do it pretty easily. Um, maybe not easily, that's subjective, but still you can do it. It's not that hard of a task. It happens all the time. Uh, the animation, not Pharrell performing on the moon with the minions riding rainbow. I feel like I had to make that clear. I feel like I shouldn't have to make that clear. Would people have believed that? Now I'm rambling. And yeah, I just think it's a really cool idea. I encourage filmmakers and anyone else to get creative and do stuff like this. I think it's a really cool idea. It's really sick. And it's how we help combat this whole narrative around, you know, movies are running out of ideas. Nothing's new, nothing's original anymore because say what you will about the Pharrell biopic in the future. If it's good, if it's bad, who knows? People will talk about, people will remember the fact it was in Lego. One other thing to make this thing stand out, to make this thing memorable, and that's not even including it being memorable for the actual quality and the content of the work. Well, anyways, thanks so much for watching. That's my video. Hit subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers and I'm almost there. I'm so close. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later.